What I love about uh, being in Montreal, I love being on the east coast of North America, being uh, in, is so close to many other cities and places where there's big universities. And I really love being at McGill University. When I was younger in high school, uh, I had no idea you could be an astrophysicist, and nobody in my family or among my friends had any idea you could be an astrophysicist. And so I can't, re I can't really say I was mentored into this kind of job. I, uh, I was encouraged actually in other directions, frankly. So I would say the key to my success is that I'm doing something I absolutely love. Uh, I, I can't, there's days when I can't believe they pay me to do the research that I do. It's just an absolute joy. And you really have to have that in your career. When you choose a career, you have to do something that you just, you, you can't imagine not doing. Uh, there's that, you have to be willing to put in long hours and, and very hard work. I, I, I give up all sorts of great social occasions and parties and stuff to sit alone and, and study. You also have to have uh, confidence, and uh, that's something I actually developed over time. I didn't used to be as confident and feel that I, this was really a career. You don't see a lot of female physicists, but uh, once you get past that and you realize there's so much interesting work to do, and I love doing it, and I can do it well, uh, you, s you give up any issues of confidence and you realize, let's just forget all that nonsense and, and go do your work. I found my way uh, certainly through the help of uh, more senior professors, I had a few mentors, I had a few uh, colleagues along the way who were also supportive. Um, they also, some, they, they would have uh, workshops for uh, young assistant professors. Uh, I went to many of those, they were all extremely helpful and uh, I was very grateful for that sort of thing. The struggle to come overcome my own concerns about my career Definitely, so many people helped and were, uh, were, were extremely supportive. So I would say juggling career and family is one of the biggest challenges I face. People say, wow, you're an astrophysicist. And I say, yeah, that's easy compared to being a mother. That's the challenging part. I, I, love, I have three wonderful children. I'm very fortunate. And I also have a very supportive spouse, which is really key. And so it's taken me a while to find my own way. And uh, I think I've finally done it, but it really, you know, things evolve, kids grow, the changes, their needs change, and your career changes, that grows. So it's, it's challenging to find uh, the balance and to recognize also that what works for me might not be right for somebody else.